This is one of several short videos explaining how to do calculations with uncertainty in your measured data, and in particular, simplified version where we're just using the dominant error approximation for propagating uncertainties. In this method, we can ask a question. In this particular video, I'm going to ask a question, what is the total mass in this experiment, M1 plus M2? What is that total mass? How would I do that? Well, uh, I, you know, we know how to do the calculation in general. We know that uh, M total equals 800 grams plus 300 grams, which is equal to 1,100 grams. 1100 grams. So that's how we do it. How do I deal with the uncertainty here? This is an example of a problem where I'm taking a sum or a difference of the two quantities that each have an uncertainty. And so in this case, what we do uh, for sums and differences, we compare the absolute errors. Compare the absolute uncertainties. And in particular, for dominant error, we do this simple thing. We look at these two absolute uncertainties. We say my uncertainty in M total is just going to be the larger of the two. I suppose I could write that as the maximum of the uncertainty in M1 and the uncertainty in M2. These deltas, of course, lowercase Greek delta, just means uncertainty in. So there we are. Um, Maximum of those, well, these are the same in this case, so we just say that it is, in fact, 10 grams. And so we would report our result then as M total equals 1,100 grams plus or minus 10 grams. There we go. That's the answer with dominant error. You just compare the absolute uncertainties. And then if I wanted to find the relative uncertainty, the percent uncertainty, I would then say that the relative uncertainty, the uncertainty in M total divided by M total itself would be 10 grams over 1,100 grams. And oh goodness, I've forgotten how to do this. This is going to be a little less than 1%, what, like 0.9% or something? Something like that will be my relative uncertainty. Should have a calculator with me. But that's the story. The important thing here is that because these are the same, because we're adding these quantities, they have the same units, so we can add them, we can also directly compare their uncertainties, their absolute uncertainties. Uh, I will mention that, absolute, uh, that, that using the dominant error method by just choosing the larger of the two is really an underestimate compared to what you'd get if you used full professional error propagation with adding uncertainties in quadrature. The actual estimate for uncertainty here, here should be more like 14 grams, not 10. But that's just because these are equal in size. As soon as one of the uncertainties is even just twice as big as the other, you barely can't even notice the difference between the dominant error method and the, and the professional way of doing error propagation. So this is sort of the, the least good it will be. It's an underestimate of the uncertainty, but it's still close. 10 compared to 14 grams is pretty close. So that is how you do sums and differences. I should say, the process is exactly the same if I were looking for the difference in mass. 800 minus 300 would be 500 grams, and the uncertainty there still, you just take the maximum of the two absolute uncertainties, it would still be 10 grams. So that's our story, and I hope it's useful.